partial knee allows us to um, put in an implant and maintain the ligaments. Now there are two, two ligaments in the middle of the knee called the cruciate ligaments that cross. That's where it comes from, cruciate. And when you do a partial knee, you don't have to remove those. Um, when you do a total knee, you have to use, remove either one or two of them depending on the design that you use. So people walking around that have a partial knee and, and a total knee on the other side will tell you that the partial knee feels more like their normal knee because the way it moves. That, that the ligaments are all there and it moves more like a normal knee. The other part of it, because of the technology and the way that we do the partial knee now, uh, we're able to use a much smaller incision. We don't have to split the uh, quadriceps tendon and f open up the entire knee joint. We're working through a small window. And this allows us to um, minimize the amount of tissue damage uh, when we make the incision. And so healing time is quicker. You have less discomfort, less bleeding, less pain. You get up on it quicker. Most of our patients go home uh, by the next morning. Probably some of them could go home the same day. Um, and we've had a few do that. Um, it's pretty unusual to have somebody stay more than one day in the hospital after the partial knee. And those people are able to get up and function much quicker. My one month partial knees look like my three month total knees as far as how quickly they progress. So people get back to doing activities and playing golf and, and walking and doing things a lot quicker uh, with the partial knee. And it's, it's not a short term solution. It's a, it's a long term solution. Uh, the statistics are showing that about 92% of these are uh, still in place at 20 years. Uh, so it, it's not something where it's a stopgap procedure until the rest of the knee joint wears out. We think that once we put the knee back in the right amount of tension and, and get the medial joint opened up, that those uh, joints then act more like a normal joint and it doesn't go on and wear out uh, completely at that point. So there are some restrictions on who can get it. You have to have a specific uh, pattern of wear it has to be just the inside part of the joint and um, you, you can't have rheumatoid arthritis or gout those are inflammatory arthritis it has to be regular osteo or uh, degenerative arthritis and that's a wear and tear arthritis those those people are most of the people though that wear out their knees and it turns out that about 30 to 40 percent of uh, patients based on x-ray and exam and clinical criteria meet meet the criteria so that they can have a partial knee replacement 